What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 4 of Nightmare from the Deep, The Siren's Call. In the last episode, we just unlocked a secret room in this, uh, I guess, the, what is this, the news printer printing place? <laughs> the newspaper uh, place? We just unlocked a, a new room. We learned a bunch of the, like, kind of how the mayor has kind of taken over and a little bit of backstory as to not only how he's done it but kind of why turns out that the town was founded by a bunch of pirates they were using their treasure and their loot to buy things and kind of live off of that but they didn't really have any ways or i guess knowledge on how to sustain themselves uh so all of that money got spent but they never brought anything in the fishing and all that sort of stuff didn't work out now uh, well, because of that, the mayor turned to seeking out, uh, I wonder if the mayor was the, the captain, or a captain. But the mayor has, uh, sought out a, struck a deal with Davy Jones, and Davy Jones gave him Calliope, a mermaid slash siren who has some powers that he's been utilizing. One such power was the calling in of, like, controlling a fish and stuff, which is, uh, started out as a kind of innocent. She'd call, and the fish would come in, they would fish the fish with their nets and stuff and sell it, make money that way. But then, one day, I guess she called in a kraken, like a big monster, and they used her to control that, and instead, now they've been looting ships and living off the loot. So, it's cool to see the the story unfold. Uh, I'm, I'm liking how it's going. It's kind of, it makes sense. It's similar to the last, uh, the last series where they had the lighthouse that was drawing in sailors and they would loot them that way. So, it's kind of like the same sort of idea for both of them. Um, yeah, and we, so we've got like a big bad guy. Actually, it, there's, it almost, I wonder if might be very there's a lot of parallels to the last story I'm, I'm starting to realize there was the uh the leader who wasn't really liked by his crew because he was doing stuff that they were kind of questioning um in this case he's doing some not so morally or ethically good stuff towards not only the citizens but also uh other people uh so maybe in this one Rather than him turning good, he's kind of, he's not seeing the error in his ways, and he's just like full-blown bad, so maybe, maybe, maybe we'll end up fighting him. Maybe Calliope will sick the, the Kraken onto him. But yeah, so we've unlocked this room. Now, I'm not going to go down here yet. Actually, do I? I, I want to go back to the statue. Uh, with the, the, with the, I was gonna say the balloon, with the, the fish, the golden fish first. And then we'll go back down there. I wanna get some more of this story. Returning to piracy was not an option. However, the times had changed. People had aged, gotten used to their families and the town. A mayor called Murray emerged as a leader of the community, himself an old pirate, captain of his own ship. Ah, you see? A symbol of pirate prosperity. He was one of the few who remembered the legends of Davy Jones, in which he saw a solution for the town's troubles. I like how we, we are learning this story from, like, the the old guy in the bar in the tavern and his telling of the st of the story was slightly different uh like it, it was just more detail but it was uh, uh wasn't like a the exact same as what we just heard even though we were like getting the same story we're getting different perspectives and i i'm liking that gives us more of like a full picture all right so he was a pirate captain Alright, hello, hello mate. Here, have a banana. Oh, is that a gauntlet? Alright, bet. 
Fireproof gauntlet. Oh, okay. We're going to put our hand in fire, are we? Good monkey. Anything else hidden? Not by the looks of it. Alright. So now we go back. Oh, we got coal as well, so maybe it's going to evolve. Oh, hello. Oh, let's light this. Well, that would have worked, but I had already seen it. So he paid the price for uncovering the truth about the mayor. True. Oh, we're one away. He was clinging to a box. Guess we're gonna need a key. Wait, what does it say? Uh, I won't turn it. I won't turn it on without the wind-up key. Oh, so it's a musical box. Hello, rat. All right, here we got the wind-up key. The, the wait storm the lighthouse meet at the king's mouth uh courier offers to mar okay so that's where the protest happens to march a protest against mayor murray okay no go back It won't work? Is that not it? What is this? Oh, it's the crane lever. Oh, hello, bird. Nothing else. Oh, we have this. A secret entrance at... At the base of... At the... Yeah, at the base of the lighthouse. Okay. Print, print the complete matrix, it will guide you. Ah, okay, so we have to use the printer. Is this going to be what the print thing is? There's pieces missing. Okay. Is this going to give us the lever? Sure. Oh, right. It's one of these. I thought we were looking for stuff. Okay. We need to get that. Uh... Put this here. Gives us this. This goes on here. We give it a spin. We grab out the knife. We use the knife on this. Nope. Give me something. Oh. I don't know what I did. What did I do? Oh, we got the handle. Add the handle to the hammer. Use a hammer to break the wall. Unlock the box. Grab out the ink. 
put the ink on the print page? We apply the font, then we put the ink, and then we put the paper, and now all we need is the press. Wait, how do I adjust it? By is the code somewhere? Oh, right. Uh, two, four, seven. Grab the bolts. Okay. Oh, the bolts are for the hook. Alright, let's do this. Wait, hold on. Is that a thing? And there is that. Signet ring and uh coin. Okay. Right, because we, we used the coin to open up this secret room. And then we... So now we have another thing to open. The signet ring. Oh, what was this? I didn't even mean to click on that. Uh, ship sunk by Kraken. Looted for Mayor Murray since 1889. Okay, interesting. Oh, we got, we got a bunch of stuff. Shadow over Kingsmouth. Uh, Murray used his uh, Praetorians to assault the opposition and overtake the city. A fish curse still spreads as punishment for piracy. Wait, that's, that's weird. He was a pirate and now he's punishing piracy? Alright. Well, let's put the uh, next coin in. summoned Davy Jones, the treacherous sea devil, known for granting wishes to those who deal with him. They struck a pact. One day later, a mermaid named Calliope was caught in the sailor's nets. According to the hellish pact, she was guaranteed to secure the town's well-being. in here. Alright, so the lever pulls up, lifts up the thing, and then... Oh, wait, is that what the wrench is for? So we use this, and then we tighten it with this. Bing, bang, boom. Now we can hook that on, and we are good to go. Nothing else. Alright, let's do this. Let's lift her up. Uh, the lever is not ready yet. Oh, all sensors must be green. Oh, but it is! Must be green and the pointer must be on the green side. Ah, so we need to put the coal in, I see. Give it a shovel. Hold on, we need to open this up first, do we? It's too hot, we need a glove. It's 
get this boiler moving. Boom. We've got pressure. Hoist that ship. Boom, boom, boom. Time to do a swing. Hey, nice. Perfect. Man, that, that boat really wasn't made of sturdy material. <laughs> Ram them down. Alright, let's have a look. What is he looking at in the distance? I should check it too. Oh, can I get a telescope? Oh my. It's convenient. If I'm right, the mayor might want to. This can't be true. Attack this ship using the Kraken. Not gonna I lie, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> and tell them to escape those waters. Hey, hold me, hold me, go on it. Ah. <laughs> You need a hand. <laughs> I'm too weak to catch up with the carriage. Please, help me save Calliope and stop Murray. Oh, I'm that's what we've been doing. Ship. It's the first ship sighting in a long time. The mayor is sure to attack it. I won't get to the lighthouse without your help. The bridge is up. But there's another way. Through the shipwreck cemetery. Through all those ships that Murray sank and robbed. Damn. It's a horrible place. Big ass ships. I'll show you the way. Just let me catch my breath. Yeah, you're good. Oh, I have to do a look on you already know about our conspiracy against the mayor? Then take this. It may help you out oh. at the pawn shop. At the pawn shop? Okay. These ugly little toy things are worth something. Get some of these fish out of the way. It's so rusty, that has to be for soap or something. What about a dagger? Boom! Let me just clean up this. Grab. Stay back, I have fire. Okay, so that has to go in there. <laughs> Alright, so we need something to move... Move the crap? Let's go back. So what do we have? We got the coin... The... Signet ring... Cloth. This wig has so much hair uh, that no one will notice if I comb it back. Oh, uh, comb it, wait, what? Notice if I comb out a lock or two. What, so I need a comb? Wait, why do I, why do I need hair? We'll meet by the fountain after I rest for a while. 
You mean once I figure out how to get past the crab? Is there anything we missed around here? Oh, there's in here. Well, let's put the coin in here. Get some answers. Calliope was more than a mermaid. She was a siren. And as the mayor's prisoner, she was used to lure the fish with her songs, providing the residents of Kingsmouth with great catches. Fishing, however, was tiring and not very profitable and soon ceased to satisfy the pirates' growing appetites. Mayor Murray had larger ambitions and an idea of how to achieve them with the help of a siren. He hadn't forgotten the old ways. Wait, well, hold on, I don't think I retained that. He hadn't forgotten the old ways. So, what, he tortured her? Well, if you want to denounce me before the mayor, at least let me. Hmm. So we got a signet ring, we got toys, we need a way to move. Do I have to use a knife? I didn't actually try that. Something else. <laughs> I just like grab something around. Hmm. What am I missing? This stall is opened by turning the wheel, which is missing at the moment. Oh, hi! Oh, these like appear and disappear. I wonder if I've missed some. Got a map. Oh, actually, that's something I wanted to do because we got those collectibles. I wonder if there's like a list. Achievements. Aha. Okay. Okay, so these show us the puzzles that we've done. Find all the hidden octopus. We got one more seahorse to get. So hold on, we on the map? The street. Nope, nope, go back, go back. What am I missing?
Oh. No, I need a brush. That's right, it says a brush. Pawn shop entry in. Wait. Entry in is full of splinters and shards. I'd better cover. Oh, see? There we go. It helps to read stuff. Ah. Maybe we'll take this. I need one more to. Put it in the shelf. Can we put them in? No, we have to wait. Oh, that thing. One of three. Hey, look at that. That's the. Well, you've seen that before. Signet ring. And there's the wheel. So many symbols, I won't figure out what is important without some other sheets or sort uh, to sort out the doodles. Golden octopus. Oh, hello. Oh, nope. Go back. Haven't quite finished. Okie dokie. We're good for now. Oh, hey. When I was a Praetorian, we used an underground passage to get to town from the lighthouse. It starts right here, under the fountain. After you just behind the cemetery, there's an entrance to the lighthouse and the prison. I can't tell you that's me where to. the mayor held Calliope. I know because that's where I met her. If we're lucky. Murray will lock her up in the prison again. With Calliope's help. We might be able to tame the Kraken and save that ship. All right, all right, we can do that. Back off! Oh, the found key. First, I'm opening this. What have we got? So this is probably where the other toy is. Yeah, we're assembling him. An arm, another arm, a whatever that is, a leg bit, another one. We need that scarf thing. Up here. And then we got a cap. Bada bing, bada boom. Without fail. All right, I will be back. Okay. What does it say? Uh, place the toys in the cubbies so each row and each column only has one type. Oh, okay. Um, we only have 
we have only five, so two here and then three up here. Uh, how many of these we've got the same, so it's the other way around. This goes here. And then do a swap. Secret. Ooh. Well. It's something sharp. Uh huh. Something sharp. Got a rag. We got a cross. And we need a glove. Let's cut this open. Socket wrench. Some gloves. Uh, a rag. Okay, wait, so what's our objective? Find the objects and use them. So we've got a syringe. Uh. The number to call. Ooh, we've got a microwave. Or, as they call it, a microwave. Okay, so we need to plug it in with the extension cord. So, uh, before we do that, so extension cord is wet. We need to wipe it with a rag, make sure it's nice and dry. Grab that go over here. Plug her in. Then, we need to heat up something. We have to unlock the fridge. We need a key. The key was in here. Isn't it? Okay. It opened the cupboard. Okay, so we need to find a handle first. some battery <laughs> battery acid take that uh, we'll use that to uh, <laughs> we'll use that to burn the chains because that's how that works uh, we'll use the gloves to pick up the block of ice because apparently it's too cold We use the block of ice to warm it up in the microwave to make water. Oh, there's something frozen there. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> it's like we're just gonna make a puddle of water. Uh, this goes on here. We're gonna crank it. Get nine seven four. Oh, and then we'll use that to unlock this. Get ourselves a blowtorch, and we're gonna blowtorch some stuff. Cool. Okay, well, we've done a bunch of stuff this time. A lot of puzzle solving in this one. Uh, actually, quite quite a bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it here, and we're going to come back in the next episode, and we're going to check out the fountain, and we're going to 
uh, I guess, go down into a secret passage. Um, but that will be next episode. So for now, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to come back to that. In this episode, it was um, a lot of puzzles and kind of figuring out stuff, which is which is good. I noticed that we were going to get stuck. <laughs> Probably uh, if we didn't read that we had to put the fabric over here. So we worked that out and that saved us from getting stuck. I was going to end the episode if I couldn't figure it out. Um, but we didn't, so we got a little bit further. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to end it here and we're going to come back in the next episode and figure out the or go down into the, the fountain. Uh, but if you guys have been enjoying this so far, uh, definitely leave a like uh, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and leave your comments down below as to what you think the story is going to be from here onwards. I definitely want to hear what you guys' opinions are. Um, and when it comes to... Actually, that's something that uh, I've kind of I kind of noticed about the last series. When I was posting the videos, I noticed that some of the people watching this series have been... Um, kind of skipping through the episodes to specific points, like when I'm doing puzzles. So if you guys are playing the game along with me and you're kind of skipping along uh, to kind of see how the puzzles are done and stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, and let me know if this kind of uh, video has been helpful for you guys. Say you've gotten stuck uh, playing this like I did in the last series. I got stuck at some points, whether that um, watching this series has helped you get past places where you're stuck and all that sort of stuff. I'd love to know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so we're going to leave it here. And we're going to come back in the next episode. We're going to go down the fountain. And we're going to figure out more of this story. We're going to figure out what the blowtorch is for. All that sort of stuff. So um, if you're keen for that, definitely leave a like on this video. And hit the subscribe button so you're notified when the next video comes out. And until next time, I'm going to see you guys later. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Alright, see you in the next episode.